Welcome to the basic module of Advanced and Wireless Communications. Uh, this course is part of the Core Review project and we are now uh, coming to the section of wireless sensor networks. My name is Andreas Timgiel. I am from Hamburg University of Technology. What is a wireless sensor network? Uh, what is the main idea of that? And if you think about that, it's, um, if you think about what technology can allow us today, they allow us to produce very small electronic devices. They can sense, process, store and communicate. And if you think about the technology forecast, this will lead to very small devices, very cheap if produced in large quantities in the future. And therefore, for the last 10 or 15 years, there are always research concepts in the world which talk about smart dust, like in Berkeley, or e-grain in Fraunhofer. So they have ideas that you can have devices small as dust, sensing, communicating, processing, storing, and doing something, or small as an electronic grain, just a piece of grain. The question, of course, is what do we want to do it and what do we want to do with that and how to use it, but where technology is. So if we want to connect these devices, we talk about a sensor network. And this is a set of interconnected sensor nodes which perform one or several common tasks in a cooperative way. That's the idea which we have. And the sensor node is something what I just described. It's this tiny computer which can compute, store, transmit, sense, maybe actuate, and it could sense, for example, brightness, acceleration, temperature, could be some gas sensors. Um, they are often constrained. Um, they might provide something like 10 kilobytes of data, of memory only, an 8-bit processor, something we had something like tens of years ago. But these devices, I mean, a 10 kilobyte of memory and 8-bit processor, something Space Shuttle was flying with. So it's not that little things you can do with that, but you have to think different than you would do today, where you think about gigabytes of memory instead of kilobytes of memory. Typically, the sender nodes are uh, battery-driven, so they have a strict power consumption restriction, and the radio interface is often based on a simil uh, simple standard like 802.15.4, uh, which is um, simple and very power efficient, and can be easily realized in the sender nodes. An example of a sensor node is, for example, this Atmel um, ZigBit uh, mode, um, which is um, using 900 megahertz um, frequencies. You remember frequencies in the lower band are better for propagation. Um, it can communicate 50 to 100 meters um, outdoor, maybe up to six kilometers if you have the appropriate antennas and a line of sight. And we have something like on-chip 128 kilobytes of RAM, uh, of, of flash memory, and eight kilobytes of RAM. The size is something like 13 um, by 18 millimeters. So this is the size we can manage with. And then the consumption of power, which we have, is something like 20 milliamps um, when it's transmit, 50 milliamps when it's receiving. And if you go to this power um, safe mode, you have less than 6 microamperes. So what I want to conclude already with, and I want to have um, the interest for you for the advanced module, um, sensor networks is a great opportunity which we can take, or which we have to take. We can have devices very cheap, very simple, in masses, and we have to make some useful use out of it. So it is our challenge to do it to the good for the humanity. And in research, this is a topic for more than 50 years, but still market penetration is low, uh, mainly because of the question how to develop, how to supply, how to deploy them, how to maintain them, but there are a lot of good ideas out how we can do that better. And if you see for the future applications like the smart home, like industry for zero as we call it in Germany, so the production to be um, coming to the next generation where the, um, we have a um, high communication between sensors and the good which is being produced and the production machinery, then this is called industry for zero. And we see a lot of opportunities for sensor networks here as well. But that is something we also will see in the next part, in the advanced module, if we can keep you attended for that. Uh, but now, again, time for you to work. And I give you the list of the references we have used for this part of the module. And finally, I thank you for your attention, and I hope we have excited you for our advanced module.